I'm just in the process of downloading a video for my next reaction video. It's about some girls talking about their whole phase and whatnot. And it's from that podcast, I think it's called Whatever, something like that. It's a bit like the Fresh and Fit podcast, but it's called Whatever. There's a main host, he has his special guest, which is usually a guy, and then a panel of like five, six gyan and then. Uh, it's, it, I'll say it's as good as the Fresh and Fit podcast and that in it, but the Fresh and Fit podcast is the cool to grow in it, you get me the top of tops and that. I would react to some of the Fresh and Fit's podcast videos and that, but I remember I heard my man say something about anyone that uses their clips rare, 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 who, 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 so, nah, whatever. Man, I'm not going to use nobody clips, it ain't that deep, you get So anyway, whilst I'm downloading this video, I thought, you know, let me make a quick video on it, I've been planning to make this video and that. The key word today is work. Man for work hard. When times are hard, man for work hard. When times are good, man for work even harder. So, right now it's what, the 17th of March, 2023. I've got videos booked up until like May. Not May, 2023. I've got videos booked up until May, 2024. Yeah, man been putting in the hard work. Man been putting in the hard grind, you know. A lot of man, if they made, if they've got a year's worth of videos that they're sitting on and that, certain man will just be like, oh, I don't need to make a video for a whole year. Nah, fam. So yeah, literally, man. Just got videos booked up all the way until May 2024, that is. You gotta keep working. Whether times are hard, whether times are good, man for be working constantly, blood. This is why the people them are struggling right now, cost of living right now. Inflation's nuts. Food, gas, electric, water bill, all of them gone up mad. The reason why the people them struggling and that is because when times were good, they're like, ah, oh, it's all right. We can just chill. We can just relax. We can fuck about. Nah, fam. Now, obviously, I always make reference to the infamous Holborn job, but it's the analogy is so re relevant. You understand what I'm trying to say? So, boom, pre-COVID, 19 August. Got that job, the infamous Holborn job. Get me. Banging out the hours, fam. Literally working there, like I always say, four and a half months straight. Only took one day off and that was because I had to do an exam. I was grinding. I was working hard, like to say, I forecasted that there was going to be some mad epidemic and that and everyone was losing their jobs and that. I was working hard. You got to, fam. When times are hard, work hard. When times are good, work even harder. Because you don't know what's around the next corner. Everything was blessed. 2019, everything was blessed. But it's the calm before the storm. So anyway, at that infamous Holman job, man turned over like... I turned over like 45 grand or some, some mad money. Man was turning over 10 grand a month. Yeah, man turned over like 45 grand over the four and a half months. Able to save up like 25 grand and that. So that when times were hard, the following few months and that, after 2020 landed, we went into lockdown and that. Man was cool, man was calm, man was just sitting down, typing up my Ross Clark book. Obviously, I tried to get that money, you know, like, not furlough. I, I don't know if it was, I don't know, I think furlough was for people that actually had PAYE employed jobs. But the self-employed people, people them, they could get some sort of money. I don't even think it was a grant. I can't remember what it was, but they was giving that. I tried to apply for that. For some reason, I wasn't even entitled to that. I tried to apply for it once, maybe twice. Didn't hear nothing back from HMRC. Blah. But I didn't need the money. But obviously, they're giving it out for free. And now, why am I not going to take it? I don't need this 65, 66, 67 pound that they're giving out towards people's electric bill and that. But I don't need the money. I'm going to take it. And the government giving out free money. Why not? I'm a taxpayer. Literally, if your life is going good, if your life is not where you want it to be right now, you need to work hard. 
And when you, if your life is good, work even harder, blood. Because it might just be the calm before the storm. How many times you've been in a situation and that where things are all going all well and that? And then next thing you know, your clutch goes. Next thing you know, your company's talking about redundancies and that. Next thing you know, you forgot to pay this council tax bill and that. Now the bailiffs are knocking at your doors, one thing after another and that. Another thing as well, I released that video, <laughs> the one where I'm talking about I refuse to pay £500 a month to lease a car in it. And that video done quite well in terms of the engagement, the interaction. Bear man coming on, come on underneath the comment section, yeah, yeah, I know a brother that did that. Yeah, this is the reason why I wouldn't. It's true, blood. It's fucking true, blood. It's so stupid, blood. you got people out here on some mad, dumb ways, blood. Like, nothing to write home about. Man of PAYE. Man are earning 35, 45 grand a year. So man are taking on what? Best part of two grand or 2,500 pound per month. And, and man are paying 500 pound a month to lease a car. Like I said in the video, certain people's, their tariff, their lease term is 48 months. 500 pound a month for 48 months. Do the maths, it's 24 grand. 24,000 pounds on leasing a car. That if you just took that same money and invested it in a property, you could get back a profit of 300, 400 pounds per month. And remember, in five years' time, that property is going to have gone up from 110, let's say, to 140. Then you can borrow against that property and go and buy a next property that's going to bring you home a profit of 300, 400 pounds. And so on and so forth. It's a rascal like snowball effect. That's just not another thing. I mentioned the term snowball effect. Life can be an upward spiral. And as you know already, life can be a downward spiral. So one bad thing happens after another. Like I mentioned earlier, your clutch goes. You, then the, the company's talking about making redundancies and that. Then you've got all these bills and fines that come through the door and that. Life can be a downward spiral. But also, if you put in the hard work, life can be an upward spiral, blood. Right now, and let's ho hopefully, I mean... I ain't going to be making no dumb decisions now. At the moment, and let's say hopefully for the next foreseeable future and that, my life is an upward spiral, blood. You know why? Because I put in the fucking work, blood. When I was living at home, I could have been one of these idiots. When I first qualified at home to Harringay, they slapped me on 28 grand a year. I was, I think, 23 years old, maybe 22. I was 22, 23 years old. They slapped me on 28 grand a year. I was taking on about 1800 My bills and that, car, bike, insurance, all of that nonsense, the day-to-day -day spending and that, came up to about 800 I was able to save a £1,000 a month. Most idiots that if they was 22, 23, living at home with mum and dad, if they had an extra £1,000 to spend, so after all of the expenses, they had an extra £1,000 to spend, that would have gone on a Mercedes, an Audi, or a BMW, or whatever car, or they, what they, what say they, they so choose, they desire to have blood. Me, I don't give a fuck about them things there. And these same idiots that when they were 23, 24, 25, at some point in their life, they was living at home with their mum, and they're currently probably still living at home with their mum, they're saving a thousand pounds, or they potentially could be saving a thousand pounds a month, but they're not because they're spending the car. They will look at me and think, why the fuck don't I have free properties and that? Because you're an idiot, blood. You don't know how to manage your finances and that. You're still trapped in a rat race and that. You still care what your neighbours think. You still care what your brethren think, blood. You still care what that guy that you've pulled up to the lights beside thinks. That's what I'm saying. There's a lot of YouTubers out here that say, ah. Oh. So my philosophy is compete with yourself, yeah? Don't worry about what the next man's got from what the next man ain't got. I say compete with yourself. I, I've heard YouTubers say, now that's an idiot thing. Life is a competition. You're, you're competing with other men. I get that. Yeah. They're right in what they say, yeah? That you are competing with other people and that. But I'm telling you, you need to outdo yourself. You need to compete with yourself. Naturally, if you aspire to be the best version of yourself, you will always outcompete other people. I'll give you my analogy as well. You've got a classroom full of youths, little kids and that. They sit their exams. One of the kids gets a B and all the other kids then get C's and D's and that, yeah? 
The little kid thinks, oh yeah, I'm done better than everyone else because obviously they got C's and D's. You did not do the best you could if you got a B and you're actually an A student. You understand what I'm trying to say? Me personally, everyone I know, apart from one of my brethren and that, I've got more properties than them. I'm get, earning more money than them. I'm more comfortable than them. I'm not in, I don't care about out-competing them, blood. Because right now, yeah, I've out-competed them. Yeah, I'm doing better than them. What, am I supposed to just sit down and wait for them to catch up to me? Not that I'm trying to go clear to, you know, make sure no one's catching up to me. But you understand what I'm trying to say? Do you think, you think I'm sitting there watching other man and I think, well, boy, I've got more properties than him. He ain't even got one property. Oh, my man's still living at home with his mum. Or my man's still living with his gal. So, you know, I've got three properties. I'm doing better than them. If I fuck them, if you think I care about anyone around, man. You're playing a dangerous game if you're trying to outcompete other people. You might be in a situation where you are doing better than other people. And you might sit your ass down for five years and become complacent and the next man are outcompeting you. Now you figure, oh, I've got to outcompete out -compete people. It's so stupid, blood. You think I'm worried about? I've seen it before. I've seen man on my road get a Mercedes and then the next man on my road also get a Mercedes to outcompete. One brother got a Mercedes that was an old 9 plate. The next man got a one that was an old 10 plate. Do you know why? Because he don't like that guy. So he got an old 9 plate Mercedes. Then this next brother got an old 10 Mercedes. Because he don't like that guy with the old 9 Mercedes. I swear to God. But man don't own their property, blood. It's just stupid, blood. Why about competing? And this is why, this is why some people feel depressed and... You know what I'm saying, innit? Like, feel inadequate and that. Because you're watching other people, but you don't know how that other person got hold of their things, blood. You don't know that guy could be in a hundred grand worth of debt, blood. Yeah, he's smiling on the outside of that. But on the inside, yeah, at night time, he ain't sleeping, blood. So certain men feel, ah, oh, you know, blood, everyone's on a different timeline and, uh, timeline and that. Just focus on being the best version of yourself. Focus on being as, as efficient as yourself, uh, as you can possibly be, blood. Don't worry about the next man, blood. I can sit and think, oh, I know, man, that's living in a 500 grand, uh, 500 grand property and that. Blood, he's in partnership with his gal. So now he needs to be on his best behaviour, fam. Because if things go left, then he's going to be back on his mum's sofa. He's going to have to shop the yard. Okay, he gets money from when he sells the house and that. But he can't afford to live in London, blood. Because London is too expensive, fam. So then he's going to have to come to shitty Northampton or some dead area, blood. Work is down in wherever, North London, wherever. I ain't, I ain't watching no one, blood. I'm doing what I'm doing. I don't give a shit, blood. Now, I know obviously the video started off with me talking about work hard and that, but it's, it's, it's all relative. It's all relative. Man for work hard, blood. Like I said, when times are hard, man for work hard. When times are good, work even harder. Because it's possibly the calm before the storm, fam. But I reckon that video, yeah, there's a little bit left for this video to download and that. Uh, like I said, the girl's going to be talking about some whole thing. I just saw the first 10 seconds of it and I thought, you know what? This is going to be a good video to react to. So what I'm going to do is when I release this video... Then the next video that comes out is going to be that reaction video. And then I'll probably even link it in the description as well. Innit? So, But that's it, man. The message for today is work. Work hard, man. Don't stop working, blood. Me, I don't take no time off work, you know, fam. The last time it was my birthday, yeah? So my birthday was in September, uh, was in September 2022, yeah? I turned 30. Do you know what I did? On the day of my birthday... When I turned 30, you know what I did? The same as I did in 2021. Not 2020. I'll tell you why in a sec. 2019. And also 2018 and 2017. Unless obviously it was a weekend. I went into fucking work, blood. I don't care about birthdays, you know. And I'll tell you why. Now the reason why I didn't go into work in September of 2020 when I think I turned 28. And that's because it was locked up. The reason why I don't care about my birthday and that, but I've got better things to look forward to than just turning 30. So back in 2022, September, 
let's say September the 1st and that, most people think it's like, rah, it's like 20, 25 days, whatever, in it, to my birthday, whatever. I'm looking forward to my 30th birthday. I wasn't looking forward to my 30th birthday. I had better things to look forward to, you know. So this is what I'm saying, yeah? People that have nothing going on in their life, they look forward to holidays. They look forward to birthdays and all this nonsense. They look forward to Christmas and that. I've got better things to look forward to that I don't even care about going on holiday. I don't even care about my birthday. I don't even care about Christmas. When my birthday was approaching and that, I'm thinking, blood, I better hurry up and complete on this third property, blood. Time is running out. That was a sticky situation as well. So, when you apply for a mortgage, your mortgage offer lasts for six months. So I applied for my mortgage in June of 2022. The mortgage offer lasts for six months. So it was going to expire in December. So I don't know what was going on with the fucking vendor. And the, anyway, things were just going on slow. Next thing you know, the, the, uh, my mortgage was about to expire and I had like about 30 days or like, yeah, 20, 25 days or something like that for the mortgage offer to get completed. And some people, would, anyone that knows about properties and they'll say, yeah, we just apply for an extension. That didn't work. Or, you know, you just renew your product and that. Yeah, but this is the key thing. Yeah, this is why things was going to get sticky. My mortgage offer was granted in June of 2022. That was before the interest base rate went up. So back in 2022, it was like, I don't know, 0.5 or something. Good rates, nice low interest rate. By the time it was fucking November, the interest rate all went up to like 3.5. So my mortgage was set at £245 a month, interest only. When it got to November, December times, if I had to renew the product because it expired, my interest rate would have went up to 3.5. Therefore, my monthly payments wouldn't have been 250 or whatever it was or is right now. It would have went up to like fucking £450 and that. I was going mad. I was going mad because the interest rates had changed so much. Imagine yeah, you get put on a tariff. Your mobile phone bill is £30 a month in June. But something's happening in the economy and that and everything's gone up. So your mobile phone is no longer going to be £30 if your con when your contract expires and that. And you have to renew your contract. Your, your mobile phone contract is going to be £100 a month. So for me, that's all I cared about. I, all I cared about was um, completing on this property. I did not give a fuck about my 30th birthday and that. Yeah, I'm alive for another day, whatever. I don't business, but I've got things, I've got good things going on. I, I don't care about birthdays and, and going on holidays and that. I'll tell, you, I'll tell you why people love to go on holiday as well. It's, it's an escape from their problems. How many times have you heard people? How many times have you said this? Oh, I just need a holiday and that. I'm telling you why you need a holiday, why you really need a break. You probably don't like the job you're in. You probably don't like the career you're in. You're probably getting bullied by your manager. Your workplace is shit. You're sitting there clock watching that. Blah. I don't sit and clock watch when I'm at work. I love my job. It's interesting. I get to meet new people every single day. Blah. Don't get it choosy. I want to work this. I want to work this job or work any job for the rest of my life. But for the next few years, cool. I'm calm, blood. I don't mind, fam. So the reason why the people there are desperate to get on a holiday, desperate to leave the country and that, they don't like their situation and that. Maybe they don't like their, the area they live in, maybe they don't like their neighbours, I don't know, on it, but they don't like something. That's why they're desperate to go on holiday. When I think about holidays, I think, ah, oh, it's a nice idea, but you know I've got to work, fam. I don't take days off work as well. I've been at this company for, what, two years? I've only taken off... I think two days one day was because um i was getting some dizzy spells and that and then the next time was like the following year man got into some kind of foolishness and that so i had to take off take a day off work and ain't gonna talk too much and that but yeah that's it i was only taking off two days in two years i don't i don't i don't take days off work this is what you gotta do. This is the sacrifice you gotta do to get ahead. You remember, everyone's competing. You remember, it's not it's not a competition against yourself. It's a competition against every man, um, as per what the man them say on YouTube and that. Well, you know, if it's a competition against every man and that, well, what you need to do is you need to do what other men are not willing to do, which is not take time off work and work constantly. The only time you get off is on a weekend or when you go to sleep. 
This is why I'm so far ahead. I don't take days off work. I do the stuff that most men are not willing to do. Most men, if you told them you're going to work for an entire year and you're not going to take no days off, they'll be like, no, nah, fuck that. Me, I'm like, bring it on. I don't give a fuck. Okay. I, 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 I do not care. This is why, this is why a lot of Brit British people are not broke. Like, they got this entitlement as well. And American people, and probably people um, uh, around the world and that. Their, their ethos is, oh, I'd work a shitty little 40 hour week. Yeah? So I'm entitled to free holidays a year. Man, man, this is why you're broke, blood. You think, yeah, doing a little 40 hour week it entitles you to free holidays a year. 40 hours is the bare minimum. I don't take no time off work. And I don't feel like I'm entitled to a holiday. I just don't care. Because like I said, I don't need to escape from my problems. The chatting to my mum the other day, we know someone. They're talking about, oh, they, they want to move to California or LA. Same thing. But this person hasn't even fucking been to California or LA in their life. Why do you want to go there? I know why. The reason why they want to go to California or LA or whatever you want to rascal up, call it, let stupid fucking, what was it? I can't remember. Orange County. These people are fucking watching TV and they feel like if they go to America, their life is going to be like that. There's certain people they actually believe if they went to America, they wouldn't just be traveling by a train to Heathrow Airport and that. Uh, they would get chauffeur driven in a Rolls Royce to fucking Heathrow Airport. They won't be getting on the plane and going to business or first class. No, they'll be flying in a private jet, drinking champagne and that, land on the runway, there's a fucking red carpet, then there's a fucking Maybach or Bentley that's gonna escort them to the fucking penthouse, hold uh, the penthouse suite, and they're gonna party the night, at night away. No. If you're an average person over here, you will be an average person over there, blood. Just like man like Andrew Tate says, free up man, man like Andrew Tate. He talks about there's guys in America that thinks they're going to take their fucking little 50 grand a year salary and go over to Ukraine. Or, I mean, Ukraine's a bomb site right now, isn't it? Or Russia or fucking Romania or Poland and that and grab themselves the baddest bees. No, if you're an average guy in your country, blood, you're, you are going to be an average guy elsewhere, blood. Because you haven't done the work to be above average. If you're a dork over there, you're going to be a dork over there, innit? It's as simple as that, blood. I think I'm going to end the video now, innit? Because <laughs> how long has this video gone on for? Like 20 minutes or so, innit? But yeah, man, that's it, man. When times are good, work hard. Sorry, when times are bad, work hard. When times are good, work even harder, innit? Yeah. That's it for today, man. Stay wise. Done, man.